Hi, this is Tim, and in this first part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a basic Pear Deck presentation. Pear Deck is a response system to use in your classrooms. It connects to your Google account. It's easy to use and will be available in beginning in the 2014 school year. If you have an account already, or if your school's purchase accounts, simply go to PearDeck.com to get started. Once there, you can click on the login in the upper right corner to log in with your Google account. If you have more than one account, click on the account that you have associated with Pear Deck. Then you have the option of browsing decks that you've already created or creating a new deck. A couple of things to notice before you start building a deck. Uh, it is possible to import a Google presentation that you've created. Also, up here in the upper left hand corner is the menu button that gives you op various options for working. And of course, as we always tell the students, it's good to give your deck, your work, a title before you get started. And then to start, you just simply click on New Slide. You'll see various options. One thing to note is all the way on the right side, it gives you options for a slide type. We're going to start with a multiple choice slide. Over here at the top of the page is a place to fill in your question. And on the right side are the spaces to fill in the answer options. I filled in a question and some answer options. If you'd like to add another answer, just click on the button here and add another option, as many as you need to. You can also have fewer options if you click on the X's. When you're done with a question, all you need to do is click on New Slide to go to a new question. Again, you'll be given the option of question types over here on the right side. Let's try a multiple choice slide that will be true and false. So if we want a true and false question, we'll want to reduce the number of answer options. And then type in a question in the two possible answer choices. And once you have your answers filled in, you can click on New Slide to ask a new question. This time, we'll try an answer that involves a, an image. I'll click on multiple choice and then we'll add an image to the answer. Simply click on add image and you have the choice of uploading an image from your computer, uh, searching images that you've already downloaded or conducting a Google image search. Remember to use images that are free to use and share. I'll be choosing an image from here. You click open and it will automatically import the image. Now I need to type the question and some answer choices. And once you have your question and answer choices, you can move on to your next question by clicking new slide. In this slide, I'll also add an image, but I'm going to make this type of answer a freehand drawing by clicking down here. And then I will add an image the same way I did before. And I'll upload one from my computer. Select the image and it will be pasted into the question area. Then I need to type in my question. And once your question is typed in, again, you can click on New Slide to continue 
and try other question types. If you're ready, however, all you need to do is start presenting your presentation by clicking on the green button in the upper right hand corner to get a preview of the questions. We have three choices of how to view this presentation. Session dashboard, which I'll go over in the next video, the projector view, and the student view. If we open the projector view, it gives us a code that we would tell the students, and as of now, no students have joined. When you click the, the next button, it gives you the question, but you can't see the answers right now. However, down here on the bottom, you'll notice some buttons that you'll use. The one highlighted in red says show student responses. The one highlighted in green says lock student responses. It's handy to lock the student responses before you show them the answers. That way students will not change their answers once they see what others have answered. When you click show student responses, you'll be able to see the answers that were put there and the responses that students made. At any time during your presentation, all you need to do is move your mouse down to the bottom of the screen and these menus will show up. You can return to a previous question, move on to the next question. Again, you'll be seeing the question on the projector view. The students will see the other parts of the question on their screens. Another thing to know is that when students answer a question, their answers are anonymous. Their answers will be displayed, but no identifying information will be displayed with their answers. To give you an idea of what the student screen looks like, I'll open this presentation in another tab and enter this code. Each time you start a presentation, a new code is given. So every, for every class that you give the presentation to, they'll receive a different code. There's no need to read write the presentation for each class. Students go to PearDeck.com slash join and then type in the code that you provided for them. Once they enter the code, they'll get this message. On your screen, the teacher screen, you can see how many students have joined the presentation and you can start the presentation once all the students have joined. If a student hasn't joined or somehow gets disconnected, all they need to do is log in again and enter the code and they will be automatically brought to whatever screen you're on for the presentation. Back on the teacher screen, we see that one student has joined and if we're ready to start the presentation, we just hit the right arrow button. The students will see the question and the four answer choices. This can also obviously be projected on the class by using a classroom projector. Students will answer the question and wait for you to press the next button so that they can review the responses of them and their classmates and then move on to the next question. When the teacher presses the right answer, the right arrow on their screen, the next question is displayed. For the question that involves drawing, the students have a menu of options below. They can choose which color to answer in and other options such as whether they're drawing or writing. Then all they need to do is click and drag their mouse to draw in the picture. When the teacher clicks show student responses, you'll see all the responses that all of the students gave for the answer. A couple of other things to note when doing your first presentation. 
On the bottom, there are some options here for switching views from the student view to the projector view to the answer view. And also, this button ends the session. When you end the session, it asks you to give the session a title and then save the session. That session will then be saved in your Google Drive folder automatically. You can open it up at any time. And that's a quick introduction to Pear Deck. In the next video, I'll show you a little bit more about how to review and collect student responses.